Oh, howdy all, grab yourselves a beer, it is time for some Path of Exile discussion. Today I wanted to turn in a few sets of the new divination card, the Long Con. I've been able to reasonably solidly ascertain that this drops from the Eternal Labyrinth, uh, specifically from beating Uber Azaro. Uh, so basically you get an Elder Slayer's Exalted Orb. These have been really good in Trade League. Uh, I've just picked up 16 of them. I paid an average of about 76 Chaos Orbs each, uh, so something like 1,200 Chaos for the lot. Every one of them that becomes a Redeemer's Exalted Orb I will lose currency on, uh, but everything that becomes something else I will gain currency on, uh, and I'm going to see how we go. I don't actually know if this is evenly weighted, and I also don't know if it can drop Awakener's Orbs. Warlord's Exalt, that's a profit. Redeemer's Exalt, that's a loss. Warlord's Exalt, that's a profit. Hunter's Exalt, that's a big one. So just having a quick look at the prices there, so we got a complete set minus the uh, the Crusader was replaced with a Warlord's Exalted Orb. Uh, just having a quick look over at the prices for these at the moment. Uh, this is from uh, PoE.Ninja, uh, economy aggregation site. So the Hunter Exalt is 442 Chaos. Uh, I, as I said, I paid about 300, so that's plus 140. Uh, Crusader I missed on. Uh, Warlord's Exalt's uh, plus 50 each, so that's uh, 50, 50, and 140, that's 240 up. Uh, Redeemer's Exalt was a loss of about 130. So all told, uh, for the purpose of 15 trades it took to pick up all of those, uh, I ended up making about 7 Chaos per trade. Uh, so that's not terrible. I don't expect that this is going to be something that everyone can keep doing. Uh, obviously there's a bit of a limit to any of these sorts of arbitrage opportunities. I do think it's worth looking out for uh, because a lot of these uh, sorts of divination cards exist. Uh, the one that I've had the most success with in recent leagues has been the divination card The Chosen, uh, which is not to be confused with the Price of Loyalty, which is the one that I commissioned. Uh, the Chosen is one that drops in Breaches and it's a set of five for a skin of the lords. That is the upgraded Chaola unique item. It doesn't have a Vile Implicit. Uh, the reason it says Corrupted is because Skin of the Lords is always Corrupted. Uh, and Skin of the Lords is always six linked and has some pretty compelling stats for some builds. Uh, as a result, it's something that's a very high variance card, but even if you fail, you get a Divine Orb because it's always six linked and you can get much better. The thing that's good about the Chosen is that the sets cost only about 15 Chaos at the moment. They should be more than that, they should be more than 3 Chaos a card, but the card is pretty common. Anyways, uh, that, this is just a really short one. If you've got any comments or questions, fire away below. Otherwise, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have a good one.